Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Gerber NXT Suspension Multi-Tool. As you can see, it has a pocket clip. It did not come with a belt sheath. There you see the thickness of the Multi-Tool. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel, by the way. Shout out to those birds in the background. It's got your typical Multi-Tool pliers. As you can see, they are spring-loaded. It has one-handed opening on a knife blade, and that is a combo-edged blade. All the tools lock. There is the lock right there. When you unfold the tools, as you can see, that goes up and down and it hooks into a notch on the partial tang of each tool. That is locked. To disengage the lock, you just pull that switch down like so. This has a variety of other tools, such as this screwdriver, which has a wire stripping notch. Here's another screwdriver with a file surface on one side and a depth gauge on the other. It also has some scissors. It's got four different screwdrivers. It's got a bottle opener, it's got a can opener, and it's got an awl, right? So what tools doesn't it have? Well, mainly it does not have a wood saw, and instead of a separate plain edge and a separate serrated blade, it just gives you the one little combo edged blade. All right, testing it out. The most important part of any multi-tool, most important quality, how fast can it give you access to alcohol? All right, there's the bottle opener. All right, now nah, just kidding. I, I don't really care about bottle openers. That, that was comic relief. All right, serious now. Got a variety of things to cut with this multi-tool. First up is some twine from the dollar store. We're gonna start with easy stuff. All right, so it's doing really well on the uh, twine, on the cord. This is a very popular multi-tool, mainly because it's inexpensive. So there it is, making ranger bands out of some old uh, rubber bike tire tubing. Did well. Here it is on heavy duty nylon strap material, kind of like a seat belt. It does well on that too. See, I noticed these cut the best towards the pivot. Here it is on paracord. Yeah, these cut better towards the pivot, which is actually the opposite of some of my Leatherman multi-tool scissors, which actually... For me, they cut better towards the tips, but this, jam it into the pivot. All right, it did well on the paracord. Here it is on some plastic binding material. Does awesome on that. So overall, these are some pretty good scissors on the Gerber. Here is some soft wire, gonna try out the wire cutters. A lot of people are interested in the Gerber NXT suspension because they have the older model, the Gerber Classic suspension, and they want to know, is this NXT? Is it a good upgrade? Is it any good at all? All right, it did well on that soft wire. All right, here is some more difficult wire, right? Three strand wire, cable wire. So the wire cutters are a little bit short, so you're going to need at least two cuts to get through like wide wire like that. The wire cutters are also not particularly sharp, so when you do cut, I notice you basically have to kind of pull it back and forth, like so, and then a second cut to get all the way through. So they can definitely do this task, but perhaps not the ideal multi-tool for that type of wire. The pliers can be used to grip and grab things, such as the uh, snap-off blade on my Stanley utility knife. That's my favorite utility knife for around, around the house. All right, we're gonna test out the wire stripping notch. Now in my normal life, I definitely do not have a job where I have to deal with wires or strip wires at all. In fact, I don't think I've ever demonstrated a wire stripping notch uh, on here before, but I guess if I'm able to use it, then anybody can. All right, so there it exposed the wire. All right, so it worked for me. So as far as the pliers on this, that is as wide as they open. So I leave it to you to determine, is that wide enough for your needs? I don't know. There it is turning a piece from my bottle cutting stand, which is actually uh, a Christmas tree stand that I bought for very cheap because it was off season. So they can actually open a lot wider than that. Right? They can accommodate more than that, but that's what I had around. Here is some blade work making a notch now notice I'm using a different part of the edge than I normally would because the part of the edge that I would normally push into wood is where the serrations are. So as far as bushcraft, that combo edge is a minus to me. 
but I guess it does add some flexibility elsewhere. So there was the notch. All right, sped this footage up a bit. You're going to, I'm going to carve a steak. And that is some dry, gnarly wood, but I figure, well, that's a pretty tough test for a little blade. You'd probably just use a, a small to medium-sized fixed blade for that. But we're not reviewing a fixed blade. We're reviewing this little thing. I got to find uses for this little blade. All right, so there you go. So, all right, it's, it's like if you had to sharpen a pencil or something, this could serve. But one of the reasons the Gerber suspension has been super popular over the years it's just because it's everywhere, like it's it's product placement in real stores, like people who never watch YouTube, they walk into a store, they see the suspension on sale. I mean, I know people who got their old suspension for $8, right? So at those crazy prices, yeah, I figured I do have to review this because people want to, uh, want to know about it. All right, let's talk about this all. Yes, now on most multi-tools, your awl is also a reamer, but this is not chisel ground like a reamer normally would be. It's ground on both sides. It, it actually costs them more money to make it that way. Um, but an awl is um, a puncturing tool, right? So there it is, puncturing stuff. So you can puncture leather, canvas, plastic, flesh. No, no, do not, do not puncture flesh. All right, so as a puncturing tool, it worked. Now, they don't say you can use it as a reamer, but you actually can. It just takes, like, slightly longer than a normal reamer. A reamer is a tool for making or enlarging, mainly for enlarging uh, a hole, right? In other words, it's a hand drill. So, you can use it in a pinch as actually a reamer, but I really think that Gerber should just chisel grind this, and then it would be... Just as good as an awl and also better as a reamer. I did find another use. You can use it as a striker. There's my fire steel. Because it is sharp, you can use it as a striker if for some crazy reason you have nothing else but this. Really, this is just an excuse to put fire in my videos because I'm a caveman. And, you know, I'd like to put fire and some dancing girls and some violence in my videos, but two of those are somewhat banned on YouTube, so I can just show fire. Actually, the dancing girls wouldn't be, but they'd put like a, an adult, an adult's only warning or something. All right, so it worked as a striker. So this has four, count them, four screwdrivers of varying uh, sizes and uses. I will demonstrate the best screwdriver. That's my Kershaw Camp 12. Yeah, so this screwdriver is pretty good. It's a Phillips screwdriver. It's thick. It's strong. It locks. It has good clearance. Fairly good reach for a, something on a fairly small multi-tool. All right, so that's probably the best screwdriver. Also, because of the square cross section, you could probably fit like a bit kit adapter onto it, but it doesn't come with one. You want some stew? All right, pretend that that d didn't have a tab or pretend that tab broke off. I'm just going to pierce it just to show that it's sharp enough to uh, pierce a can. All right, that is the can opener. And the file. Now, the file is very short, more of an afterthought just on one side. Going to file this nail. And with a short file, of course, your filing stroke is also abbreviated, so you got to do... Uh, it's, it's less efficient, but... There's the part that got filed. Here's a comparison between the Gerber NXT suspension and the Gerber Classic suspension next to it. Now they still sell the Classic, so that might be a better option for some. I will include links to both. The current price on the NXT is around $25. Now the Classic has a wood saw and it also has two separate blades, one serrated and one plain edged. All right, now the NXT is thinner and it's definitely lighter and it has a pocket clip, whereas the Classic does not. So the NXT, easier to carry. Comparing the Phillips screwdrivers, the NXT definitely has a, an upgraded Phillips compared to the squashed one on the Classic. However, I definitely prefer that blade on the Classic, that blade shape. I just think it's more useful and more utilitarian for a multi-tool than the NXTs. Right, here's a comparison of the thickness. So as you can see, the Classic is definitely shorter 
but it is noticeably thicker and it's heavier, right? So the NXT, ease of carry. Here is a comparison between the NXT and the Gerber Truss. Now the Truss you could think of as a deluxe NXT, right? Because it just has more tools, but it's also definitely a lot thicker and heavier, right? You see it has all the tools plus a wood saw. And again, it has two blades, one mostly serrated, one plain edge, and it's about five to $10 more expensive usually. I do prefer the handles on the NXT though. Note, note the angle change on the NXT's handles and look where in that same area on the truss, the handles are straight. The way they've done the handles on the NXT, it's more comfortable and they give you better leverage for applying force. So that is one advantage of the NXT. As far as competing options in the budget multi-tool category, you have many options these days. Uh, the, the top left corner, you have the Splitman multi-tool. Next to that is Byberry 13-in-1 multi-tool. Then the bottom row, we have the Wii Tools multi-tool. And next to that is, uh, I'm not sure what the name of that is. I've seen it under so many different names, but it disappeared from Amazon for a while. And now it's back as the, it was sold as the Senung multi-tool. I will include links to all of these. So those top two multi-tools are beasts. They have very complete tool sets. They're both around $20, but it's, they're a little bit of a different type of multi-tool. The NXT is meant to be light and fast. It's not meant to have every tool. Now that Wii Tools multi-tool, that is actually very comprehensive in the tool set and it's fairly compact, so consider that. I will include links to a lot of budget alternatives. Check those out in the text description box. Final thoughts on the NXT. I think they should make the all work better as a reamer and I would prefer a fully plain edged blade of a different, more utility oriented blade shape. However, this is a very good multi-tool for a reasonable price. And if you don't need the wood saw, this is probably the best of the cheaper Gerbers. If you do need the wood saw, check out the Truss and the Classic. The beauty of this multi-tool is the price is going to be way less than the Amazon price in regular brick and mortar stores, especially around Christmas. There's going to be crazy deals. However, these days you might not want to go to a crowded store. So I will include those Amazon links for you for your convenience in the text description box. You know, it used to be if you wanted a, an easy to carry budget friendly multi-tool, you would get like a Leatherman sidekick, but then the price on the sidekick skyrocketed to around 60. Hopefully it will go back down, but yeah, because that got more expensive, you can see how this at $25, this Gerber is kind of occupying that slot at the moment. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you already own this multi-tool, check out the text description box for other budget multi-tools that you might not know about. If you like videos like this where the reviewer demonstrates the multi-tool as they tell you about it, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done so. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.